my favorite thing about playing Vegas is I get to play this golf course called Shadow Creek, which is one of the most exclusive golf courses in the world. I worked for them three years, didn't even know it existed because they knew if I found out it existed that I'd pester the fuck out of them until they put it in my contract, which is exactly what happened. <laughs> it's amazing. This golf course is just fucking so tricked out. The first time I walked through the gates, I was like, nobody's stopping me. <laughs> That's where all the pros play when they're in Vegas. And I was out there this summer and Tiger Woods was out there just dicking around. <laughs> I may sign my golf glove. I got to meet the most famous person I've ever met. And I know a lot of famous people, but nobody as famous as Tiger fucking Woods. I love Tiger, man. I defended Tiger when all that stuff first came out. When I heard those initial rumors, I felt sick to my goddamn stomach for the guy because I've never been accused of doing anything I didn't do. <laughs> Not one goddamn time. I did it every single time. Not once could I go, no, that was Glenn Campbell. <laughs> hey, a lot of things smell like strippers. And I defended him to my wife. I said, you don't know what this guy's been through. He had his first famous golf shot on television when he was two years old. You don't know what his home life's like. You can't judge a guy because he made one mistake. And he gets caught with number 13, 14, 15, 16. I started going, God damn, Tiger, come on, buddy. And it got to the point where every time he got caught with another woman, my wife would go like this. <laughs> what? I don't even know the fucking guy. You act like I was holding his dick the whole time. We watched him make that long apology on television and afterwards my wife goes, well, do you think a guy like Tiger could quit cheating on his wife? And I said, shit. <laughs> <sighs> you bet. Which you know is bullshit, because you know as well as I do, if a guy like Strange, getting him to quit wanting Strange is like getting a dog that likes to kill chickens to quit killing chickens. They don't even know what you're talking about. You gotta quit killing chickens. All right, let me see if I got this straight. I can still kill chickens. No, you can't kill chickens anymore. All right. Let's say I'm in a hotel room with the chicken. Let's say the chicken just wants to touch me. Can I kill that chicken? No? My wife told me all women want the same thing. They want to marry somebody who will never have sex with anybody else, no matter what. And I said, well, then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to fuck. <laughs> if it means that much to you, you know. Don't marry the most famous golfer in the world. Marry the most famous Frisbee golfer in the world. <laughs> Ain't no line to fuck that dude. We had a chat about cheating that day, man. Uh, <laughs> my wife told me, she goes, listen, Ron, let's get this straight. Sex is sex, period. I said, no, now, wait a minute. Oral sex is not the same as intercourse. She goes, it's the exact same thing. I said, it's not the same price. <laughs> I heard that on the radio. <laughs> it all comes down to opportunity, man. Some guys are put into a position where they have to say no to beautiful women, and that is hard to do. And some guys are never put in that position, and that's way fucking easier. <laughs> I see these big 350-pound guys all the time going, I have never cheated on my wife. I'm like, I bet that was tough. <laughs> Tiger doesn't get any credit for all that pussy you turned down, and that's the number you're looking for right there. 
My wife's best friend, her husband cheated on her, and my wife hates Tiger's guts. And I'm like, well, what about that guy? You don't hate that guy? She goes, he did it one time. I said, he had one chance. <laughs> this guy had sex with 100% of the women he possibly could his entire goddamn life. Tiger was 18 for 82,000. <laughs> that takes a little goddamn discipline right there. If 82,000 women want to have sex with you and you only fuck 18 of them, that's love. <laughs> he was in love with that woman. She broke his tiny tiger heart. He lost all those sponsors, which never made sense to me because his core fan base is men. I don't know one guy in America gave a fiddler's fuck what he did. I guarantee you, not one guy in America went, really, Tiger got some straight pussy? I'm dropping at and <laughs> Not one guy gave a fiddler's fuck. Now, when they were around their wives, they'd act like they gave a fiddler's fuck, get all foghorn, leghorn. Why, I never, I can't believe a man would commit such transgressions towards his wife. I say, I say, how's his relationship with the Lord, I'd like to know. <laughs> then as soon as they're around their buddies, they're like, wonder what kind of cologne he wears. I want to smell just like that dude, man. <laughs> he lost so many sponsors, I'm thinking about bringing him over to Ron White, Inc. And not because we need a new face for the company. I'd just love to have somebody around the house to fade the heat when I fuck up. <laughs> Ron White, you are the most selfish prick I have ever met in my life. Tiger, get in here. <laughs> you tell her what you did. Ron White, you're the finest man I have ever known. I shall fall to my bended knee and suckle your penis. <laughs> well, thank you, baby. Slow down. Watch out for those ears. <laughs>